Welcome back to the show. For some reason, I guess I didn't realize it, that there actually are male Karens also. I don't know if we should call them Darren or should we call them Taryn? Or I'm just going to call them a male Karen because that's what they're acting like. Once again, they want to be the HNIC. Well, the HWIC. Not trying to be offensive, but this is just a simple fact of life. We'll call this the case of the supervisor Karen that wants to be a manager. But before we get there, I do want to give a special shout out to the judge, to the bishop, the bishop of Hippo and the undertaker. Special thanks to Dr. Mills. Subscribe, like, and hit that notification button. Get your manager. Yeah, he's not acting right. Helps us a lot. At this point, we're refusing See you later. Bye bye. We're refusing service because you're trying to steal. We're trying to steal. steal. At this point, we're refusing. Keep going. Keep going. going. You're gonna be the internet. Bye. Come on. Keep going. Bye. Excuse me. Bye. Keep going. Oh, touch touch us. Please touch us. Here goes the high school stuff. Who, who touched me? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get out of my way. I own it. No, you don't. You don't own anything. I'm the man. You're not nothing. Back to the nonsense. Yes, I am. Bye-bye. 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 You can say goodbye, but you're not purchasing in our store today. And so she used a huge curse word right there. Couldn't put that. I got the video right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got the video right here. Go ahead. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Did you ask to be there and what she's doing? No, you don't get it. We didn't view that. Who's going to be on the internet tonight, y'all? You guys are trying to steal here. We're not stealing. Bye. 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 Bye.
bunch of mismanagement by a gentleman who wants power over people and he's assisted by other people who want to demonstrate that they have power over people about some food and these ladies have plenty of money on them. He's literally holding a bag while talking to the police on the phone and the gentleman who's supposed to be security who just walked up allegedly, but I'm pretty sure he had heard about this and been watching from a distance for some time. He knows that this is bogus. He really doesn't even want to be seen on camera. And so the person who told the story walks away. Workers are laughing in the distance and this Michael Jackson pants Pee Wee Herman, what an attractor supply is going on. Nobody played with you when you were a child. And I, I did a credit by cutting off where you said you were and all of that. We don't want anything like that going on. Try to keep it kosher, even though you didn't keep it kosher with these ladies. You wanted to blame them for putting fresh fruit in a bag when your store didn't even have bags for them to put the fresh fruit in. You should be ashamed of yourself. Instead of helping people, you tried to turn this into a situation in which you have the authorities coming out to this store and wasting taxpayer money. All because you're on a power trip and you're not even a manager. You're not even a supervisor. You're not even shift lead probably. You have no name tag on. We don't even know if you truly work for the store. Not by the way you're behaving and not by your visible actions. In the words of Randy Jackson, it's a no for me, dog. It's a hard no for me. You didn't get enough sleep because you didn't grow. It's obvious because these black women are taller than you. I mean, you got to be inch high private eye or something. You're definitely suffering with a little man's complex, small man syndrome. You were never in charge of anything, were you? And whenever you got upset, you know, I'm going to take my toys. I'm going to go play. I'm going home. I'm going to call my mom and my dad. And, you, and, and if nobody likes it, I don't care. And that's why you're walking away. You're walking away because you look real dumb. And you know, in the name of a gentleman called Forrest Gump, Stupid is as stupid does. But I want to address my people. What is going on? Seriously. Stop going to places where they don't want you there. Stop bringing your hard earned money into places that don't want your money. Invest your money into companies that actually are servicing you. Then buy from them. Have them deliver your food, your groceries. There are multiple outlets now in which not only can you purchase what you want, you can also own a piece of the company. And in that way, you're not just a customer you are an owner and as you buy you earn now that would take all the power away from them and place it back into your hands but who are me to judge 
I am the voice.